makes me feel sick and I throw up a little bit in my mouth. A lot of people aim to be average, which is not the worst and it's not the best, it's just the same as everybody else. Just to get to Wimbledon, you can't afford to be average. But it's interesting that once you, once you get to an event like Wimbledon, the best of the best in the world, there are still average players here and there's the best. So it doesn't matter which group you put yourself in, there's always going to be people who are not so good, people who are average and people who are the best. And that isn't decided by anybody else except me or you. We get to decide. But the challenge I've got with average and why I hate the word is as soon as you are thinking average, you can't be the best. Because the best means I'm the top of average. So please don't aim to have the average body or the average health and fitness level. Please don't aim to be the average a happy person or the average have an average career or an average relationship. You deserve the best. Don't let anybody tell you that average is okay. You need the best relationship, the best career, the best healthy fit body. You need to be the best at what you do. And if you put in 100% effort every single time, you'll automatically be the best. Isn't that exciting? So the people who win here today and tomorrow and the next few days, because we're heading into the finals at Wimbledon, will be the people who are the very best, not average, no cowboo.